Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your Mac login screen. Uh, this is actually a remake of the very first tutorial I uploaded to YouTube back in December 2008, so almost two years ago. Um, at that time, the only thing that was really being customized was the background of the login screen, but now there's been many advances in... Uh, Mac login screen customization, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you would go about customizing your Mac login screen, and then at the end of the video I will have a bunch of examples of Mac login screens, and then I'll have links to them in the uh, bar down below, you guys can check that out, set them as your Mac login screen, and then the video will end. Uh, so we're going to start the video by going into our finder, going into our hard drive, going into system, going into library then into core services, and you're going to scroll down until you find here, default desktop.jpg. So in order to change the background of your Mac login screen, you're going to need to find an image, any image, um, and then you're going to want to rename the image as a default desktop exactly, has it, exactly as it's spelt right here. Um, so that's a capital on D, a capital on, a capital on D for default, and a capital D on desktop. And you want to make sure it's one word, and then, so you're just going to replace it, and then you're going to log out, and then if you log back in, then you'll have a new default desktop background for your login screen. Uh, so that's the first stop of uh, customizing your Mac login screen. Um, the next thing we're looking for is security agent plugins. So we're going to go into that folder, and then you want to right-click on login window, and click show package contents. Then you want to go to contents and then resources. And then here is where all the UI images are. Um, probably the most easiest one to edit would probably be the Apple logo. So similar to the default desktop, um, you're going to find an image. You're going to rename it Apple logo um, exactly as it is right here. You're also going to want to make sure that's a .tiff file. Um, those are two things uh, that are like super epically important. Uh, you want to make sure that the spelling is exactly as it is for the default, and you want to make sure that the file type is the exact same. If it's not, then it won't work. So continuing on, you're gonna rename your you're gonna rename your file, give it the right file type, replace it. You're probably gonna have to authenticate, and then if you log out, um, when you go to your login screen, everything will be changed. Um, I mean that's pretty much it as far in terms of UI. You can also customize some of the text on there. Um, if you go into uh, the English.l project or whatever language you're running, um, you can go into info playlist.strings and there's some text in there, as well as info login or yeah, login window strings. Um, there's a bunch of text in there yet that you can edit. Um, I mean, if you really want to get fancy, you can mess around with the nib files, but um, I don't. Um, also, an important thing to do is to back up any UI image or background that you plan to change make a copy of the original and put that away somewhere safe um, because if something does go wrong you want to be able to easily go back to the default without having to do a full system restart of your Mac which involves like putting in the disk and doing a fresh install of all that. You don't want to have to do that so please back up. That's what I'm going to tell you to do. I'm going to tell you to back up before you start messing around with these files. That kind of goes for everything in this core services folder. It's a very important folder. Um, that is, uh, that's pretty much it as far as how you would go about customizing your Mac. Um, I guess right about now I'll be showing you guys some cool looking login windows.